yeah, hi uh, device has come up actually the default username and password is this username will be cumulus password will be uh, cumulus capital c capital l and uh, exclamatory mark yeah so here they have clearly mentioned this cumulus vx instance is designed only for experiencing and testing the prototyping the technology so they are even not recommending to use it in production so so one of the feature which found interesting is the net commands net show config like other vendors they have a net uh, command now rather than going to going and editing the basic text file so we can do it and do it like a command line interface so but here by default they don't have a question mark support so for that what we need to do they have a document which says how to enable that see network command they call it as a nclu network command line utility so here so to enable this question mark help you need to do this we need to uncomment one line in the bottom see you now come out of this session login again now net if you give question mark you will be getting net show interface eth0 So by default there is no IP address configured because it will try to get the IP from DHCP server since it is a simulation and my local machine we don't have any DHCP running so we need to configure it manually you can do it in two ways like you can edit the ETC network slash interfaces file or you can do it even using the nclu so i'll show you the nclu method this most of them will be aware of so actually the command is net add interface so once you click uh, once you put question mark you will be able to see the interfaces which are available so you can give ethernet 0 give question mark let's say ip question mark address address format so i'll give the ip 10.10.10.t4 
slash 24. Now, if you before committing, if you want to see the uh, pending command, there is net pending. So what it is showing? This is the current configuration. It will remove this configuration and this is going to add this line. So for uh, applying the configuration, net commit. Once you do that, you can just try pinging from the VPC which is running inside my GNS3, you will be able to access it and even you should be able to SSH from the local machine. SSH Cumulus I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.